Testing one, two, three. Hello, hello, you fabulous, fabulous community members. How is everybody? If you can hear me, please say yes. You can hear me. Lisa, Allison, Vashol, S.G. Lee, Carly, welcome. Hello and welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so excited, like I am every Tuesday afternoon, live streaming and answering all of your job interview questions. Either you're interviewing at Amazon, which is 99.9% .9 of my channel. I did not make myself an Amazon coach. I'm a famed career coach. My name is Holly Lee. I spent the last 15 years working with 90% of the famed employers. My passion is to get you from zero, even a lot of failed interview attempt, into landing multiple offer with your favorite famed company of choice. So if you're new to my channel, don't hesitate, smash that like button and subscribe to my pre-recorded video. I'm very, very excited today because before we start, I wanted to recap and generally I like to spend the first couple minutes of all the messages that you guys are asking me, okay? There are so many people who are in the loop process right now at Amazon. If you're one of them, please say yes, Amazon or AWS loop in there. Um, and let me know. I'm more interested to know where are you stuck in your interview process? Okay. Where are you being stuck right now? The next thing is if you have a questions for me, please professionals put a giant queue in front of your questions, because when you do that, it's helping me go to your questions right away. Okay. And if you are creating your stories, you really want to go ahead and download right here. This is the most innovative thing I have ever done during my time at Amazon that hit the Amazon leadership principle 100%. By the way, in case you don't know, Amazon LP is 16 and not 14 right now. Okay. So with that in mind, I would love to see who is all here and answering all of your Q&A. Isn't that exciting? Hello, Garrett. Hey, how are you? Dushin, is this the same Dushin that just landed your AWS job interview? If you are, don't be shy. Okay, let's see here. Just become my member. Uday, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lisa says, please respond. I tried to buy the accelerator from your website, but it's asking me to log in. However, there's no option to sign up. Are you referring to my star interview accelerator? If you are, I apologize because we're going through the entire makeover of back end server and systems upgrade right now. I have a lot of people who's been messaging me and I wanted to apologize for it. I generally don't brand or promote any of my products or business, which I really should right? <laughs> One should. Um, it should be done within the next couple days or so. We're doing that because we're getting a high volume of people versioning my digital course. Now let's pause for a second. Again, this is digital course only, okay? Meaning doing it yourself. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, and if you wanted to learn more, feel free to message me directly via LinkedIn, which is right here, okay? This is only a, a digital master course or accelerator for you to create. It's very heavy in creating your stories together. It should be up and running fairly soon. Lisa, if you have not already, please reach out to me via LinkedIn, and I'll make sure to personally send you the payment link for that, okay? Again, um, um, we apologize because we wanted to make sure that everything is working and functioning well so that there's no hiccup or hurdles because once you purchase the course, I want you to have the best customer experience, okay? That's why we're working a lot of the stuff in the back end to make sure that you're being onboarded correctly, that you have a team to support you in the back end. That's why we're going to pause. And that reminds me, professional, I'm a big fan of slowing down to speed up, 
Okay, so majority of my effort is in my very, very well known VIP coaching this right here, it has the exact same template as a digital course, I repeat, the template of question is the same. But what you're getting here is me reviewing every single thing that is a master accelerator for career transition and interview prepped. Okay, there is a monthly and a 90 day membership program It's not an online class. I repeat, it is not an online class because a lot of you guys, when you messaged me, you said, Holly, when is your online pro? There's not an online class. It's real coaching with me. I'm the only one who's doing all of the coaching. I'm the only one who's trying to, my uh, members called it, reject you off the bat about three, four, five, six times, and boom, you end up working at AWS. Okay, so that's a VIP coaching. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, please do let me know. I don't want to spend the stream talking about my coaching service, but I'm simply providing you an answer. Again, Lisa, look forward in your message. We are working on the backend servers right now. We have, we're going to be launching a bunch of digital services and products coming up very, very soon. That's why we have to eh, put the point down, the breakdown, I should say, for just a moment, okay? But if you have a, an interview, a lot of you guys, says Holly but my interview is on Friday I, I really want to buy your course right now and I want to ace listen if you are having an interview in the next couple of days guys I'm, I'm not saying that I don't want your business it's free you realize that about 5,000 people land a job specifically at Amazon we'll talk about level five six and seven Yes, there's quite a few very heavy level six and seven, meaning uh, principal level or senior management level, okay? Here in my YouTube channel, and the number one playlist is the Amazon Leadership Principle questions and answer, because a lot of you guys says, Holly, where the LP, where the LP? Stop. If you just stop, stop. Don't argue, just stop. Listen, I've had a number of guest speaker on my YouTube channel for you guys, okay? Last week, I have a level seven AWS partners solution architect, along with one of my former member, Victoria, to share their best practices. And we are all saying the exact same thing. All right, professionals, Elvis is his name and Elvis has been with Amazon for eight years years. We are seeing eye to eye. We say the exact same thing. I've had multiple director level bar racer in here for operation PM, as well as engineering and tech side for you guys. And guess what? We are saying the exact same thing over and over again to you. So where's your ear? Listen, I know, I know, I know I'm being very transparent right now, but a lot of you guys are going back and forth and Holly, more, more, more. Can you tell me more about the LP? Can you tell me what are the exact LP that's being asked? Why would you care? Your job is to know what the company's philosophy are. So either you're interviewing at AWS or Google, their philosophy is very similar, right? Every single company has customer obsession. Every single company have moving fast, even though they're not exactly innovating at the speed of light like Amazon, but everyone says moving fast, right? Everyone has ownership. Everyone has think big, even though they don't say think big like Amazon. And honestly, I think the reason why they don't have those hire and develop the best is because Amazon had already owned those LP. All right. So one way or another, I want you all to stop being so frantic about the LP. Yes, indeed, professional, you have to know the leadership principle. But more importantly, look at the interview questions. My anything, every single video that has the word Amazon on it on my channel, there's 186 video, I'm only asking you to watch about 20 of those. Okay, every single one of those playlists, I'm telling you exactly what to do. If you want a quick, easy and fast way with examples and me actually reviewing all of your work and holding your hand like this, literally holding your hand, then that's a VIP coaching. Okay, it's holiday.co slash VIP. And the difference between that and the digital course, if you're really rushing it through, Let's be honest here, if you're rushing, nothing can really help you if you don't already have at least 20 story and your Amazon, I'm not talking about Google or Microsoft or anything. Amazon is the toughest company to get in when it comes to diving extremely deep with breath and depth professional, okay? Many of you, if not all of you have the breath, you're depth. 
even if I'm able to help you have the great stories, which is my Start Any Accelerator, you still need to practice around those stories. Yeah. So if your interview is coming in the next couple of days, it's not that I don't want to, you know, make a profit of turning you into a digital course customer. I'm, I just don't want to waste your time. I'm not saying that you can't forgive me. I'm not saying that you can't get a job. Absolutely. Right. Because 5,000 of you have gotten it for free. You see where I'm going? I'm not one of those coach who says, me, 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 buy my course, buy my course. This is the best thing. I know this is going to take you from A to B. It is true. But guys, listen very carefully to what I'm telling you. It takes time. It takes time, guys, okay? I have an entire playlist that says hiring leaders and bar racers at Amazon. Listen to what we're telling you, the exact same thing. I trained those bar racers before they went into the bar racer training, and that's called making great hiring decision at Amazon, okay? So I think I'm done talking Jesus to everyone here. I feel like I need a moment to do so because I'm truly very passionate in helping you land job offers. But I feel like so many of you, when I say so many, I'm not talking about mid-level folks. I'm talking about senior vice president. Yeah, I'm talking about director level from Apple. I'm talking about GM from Microsoft even. I'm talking about all of these leaders coming to me, expecting me to have the magic wand. Folks, no one has a magic wand and there is a significant amount of hard work. If Amazon is your dream company, you better work up, okay? You better put in the hours, okay? There ain't no excuses it's like my dog ate my homework, but Holly, I'm a mom, I'm a single mom, right? I'm a single mom who runs my own business, who homeschool my four-year-old, <laughs> For another year, by the way, another year and a half, because his birth date, he's cut off from the kindergarten. So he's not even eligible to be in kindergarten. And there's no daycare or private school, which I'm willing to pay anyone to. You just got to spend at the bare minimum two hours every single day, at least, at least five days a week on top of your full time job. If you are interviewing at Amazon, because they will go so deep wanting to know the person that's on your CV, your resume, it's the same person that they're interviewing. Okay. Most interviewers don't even look at your resume or LinkedIn profile. Why? Because they want it to know if you're able to articulate everything that you have done very, very fluently and being able to influence them. Amazon is a very big culture on influential and having a clear communication skill. Don't worry if English is not your first language. I get a lot of those messages as well. English is my fourth language and you will be fine. Okay. So if you are ready for me to answer your Q&A, please give me a thumbs up right inside this video and let's get on to this. All right. Allison, how are you? Good afternoon to you, SG. Holly and Purple. Yes, Purple. Hello, hello, Purple. <laughs> ma ma Mahana, London and Travel. Hello, Mahana. Vandana. Hello, Vandana. Former VIP member. I love you guys. I'm a big fan of you. You know who you are. And I would say... I'm so glad that I see a couple of my uh, VIP folks who have already are Amazonians, by the way. That's why they're here. If you are not, I know that I'm being a little bit redundant, right? If you're not able to put in the hard work, no coaches on earth can help you. Let me repeat. If you're not able to work hard, roll up your sleeve, put your, put your lens on, your magnified glasses per se, okay? If you're not willing to spend your time and have patience with yourself, you can't possibly expect the Amazon interview loop to have patience on you. Okay. It is so daunting to me, so daunting that so many professionals, when I look at the, the branding and when, when we, we work very closely in my group coaching core, which is a VIP uh, premium coaching service. And you know, my, my community manager and I, we actually talked about them. It's like, wow, these folks have amazing background. But so many of them, I don't know what it is, expecting me to have the magic wand or something where there's a lack of effort, okay? It's not, I'm not saying this because I'm an ex-Amazonian for seven years. I'm saying it because interviewing is what I've done 
guys and gals for 25 years. I spent over two decades in training startup to feign employers how to interview. So I've seen it and I know exactly what, what they're looking for. But I guess, you know, I focus so much on the result and I'm so customer driven. It's, you know, I get bummed out when you, you come to me and you're not ready to take that leap of working hard. You know, let me know if that makes sense. Just say, Holly, you make sense or give me a coffee emoji because coffee really motivates me as well. Cheers. Hungry for employment. Woohoo. Hello. Hello. I missed you. How are you hungry for employment? Miss you, Ed. All right, Janet. Hello, Janet. Sito. <laughs> hello, hello. If this is your first time, do let me know where you are tuning in from, okay? Um, I Ayushi, Ayushi says, I have... Oh, let me make this a little bit bigger, okay? So you all can see the question. Let me make this pretty for everybody, okay? I have an L4 level business analyst interviewed. You can be L4, you can be L5, you can have a director position. At the end of the day, all the content, every questions that you guys are looking for is in my entire channel, okay? Uh, my channel is very, very heavy in walking the talk. I'm not telling you just what to do. I'm bringing in guest speaker who are already at Amazon. What do you want? What orc do you want? Because I, ha I literally have them all, right? Um, because, you know, Stephanie, Stephanie was a director, also a bar racer for operations. Um, I have David, who's all of engineering at AWS. I have quite a number. I have even solution architect leaders on here. So I want you guys to pay very close attention to those hiring leaders and listen to their best practices because we're all really giving you free content in helping you land the role that you are looking for. Okay, so I am going to turn this to member mode only now. Because if I don't, it's really eating up my Wi Fi on top of the spammer. Okay, let me go ahead and click everything out. Alrighty then. And if you guys are interested to become a member, all you have to do is click joint. A lot of you guys are asking me about the, the questions to ask the interviewer. It's in the community tab. Okay. So if you are part of my community, your view and the regular public view are not the same. Okay. All right. Let's go with more Q&A. What is the operation manager role at AWS and what is the expectation uh, Shurivasha, Shurivasha, okay. What the expectation is like any other expectation, which is if you're an ops pro, uh, manager role, Amazon is interested in interviewing you with your unique background, okay? Amazon is not an employer who looks for a specific fit. They look for potential. That's one of the things that I love about the Amazon interview process and the folks who are there, okay? So if they're interested in you, um, the question is a little bit vague for me as well. Be very, very specific. What are you stuck? If you look at the job descriptions, or even if you just put on our best friend, google.com, it is all over Glassdoor, my friend, okay? All over Glassdoor as well. In fact, you have the specific questions right on there. Okay, go check that out. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Lisa, I think I have answered that question already. Lisa, when is your loop interviewed? Carly, you're having your phone interview with Amazon on Thursday. Guys, do me a big, 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 big favor, okay? Be very specific with your questions. What role are you interviewing for? If you are not in the U.S., what country you're interviewing for? Because my tip changes, all right? For example, the compensation is not even the same within state to state. So the more information you give me, the more our time would be utmost valuable to you, okay? Oh, this is a good one. This is a very, very good one. Very nice. Um, Ayashi, Ayashi, okay. How do you answer a write a lot? This is a very tough one. Excellent question. Thank you for asking. A write a lot is just a time where a write a lot is very similar to disagree and commit. 
Okay, I believe I have a、uh, live stream like this where I actually talk a lot about, and I I believe I also review your story on there as well. Go check that out. It's called "Disagree and Commit." It's very very similar. A lot of this LP type of questions are almost duplicate from each other. Okay, a write a lot is a time where you are one. You have to be. I talk about being influential in a second, but how do you influence? You influence with data. Okay. In in a setting, in a group setting, whether with your leadership or your peer, give me one specific example where you don't really see eye to eye with them, but you felt like your methods or your suggestions make a lot of sense in the product or whatever that you're you're focusing on makes more sense. So, what data are you showing them to prove that? What research have you done in a in in order to convince them? Okay, in the end. What happened? Are you able to earn their trust or win their trust? Are you all hearing what I'm saying? So if your story is good, it should really hit the LP at least eighty to one hundred percent of the time, which is why I don't teach you one LP at the time.、Um, that's another thing where、uh, uh, a couple of you are asking about my interview accelerator digital course. I'm gonna integrate more of the LP in there. I really don't want to. It's not that it's not going to help you. It's just that、e、everyone who's coming to me, like the clock is ticking. Their interview is in a couple of days or one week. If I'm asking you to go through all of the LP, which is sixteen, by the way, you kind of spend at least three to six months in prepping for your interview. So everything that I'm teaching you is getting you ready within a month. That's still very fast in an Amazon standard. Okay. You can absolutely prep for a Meta, a Microsoft, or any other interview within even like a week, right? But Amazon is very particular in the way how you write and the way how you deliver your message. That's why it, it's taken longer. Okay, so if you're thinking about or write a lot, just think about a time where you don't exactly see eye to eye, and what what methods or tools are you using to convince them to earn trust? What is it, and what is the end result? When you all are ask,、uh, answering behavioral questions, you always, always, if you could please, what is your business impact? A lot of the folks they they talk a lot and they spend about five minutes describing the situation, the benefits, and all that, which is great. You could just do all of that in one sentence, by the way. Okay, in the end, what is your impact? What are you able to deliver? Okay. Hey, Garrett. Good luck to you, Luke, this Friday. Mohammed, hello, Mohammed.、Uh, I just did a loop last week, but unfortunately, I did not pass. What is the cooling down period? What is the depth and complexity needed in my answers? I had a lack.、Uh, I'm sorry. Hang on one second. Can you guys tell I'm very particular <laughs> in the way how the stream looks?、Um, I had a lack in it. The recruiter told me. What is oh the depth and complexity? Okay, that means that the example you're you're giving them, you don't dive deep enough. That's exactly what I've been talking about in my entire YouTube channel. Okay, if you have failed any of you already buying a digital course, I don't know how much that's going to help you. That's why I have the VIP coaching service. All right, because ninety nine point nine percent of those folks have all failed their interviewed and they've all end up back at Amazon again. It's not that hard, guys. All you need to do is be coach and like being able to identify where is the gap that make that's failed. Okay, and. Most of you have great experiences. If you don't, you won't even make it to the loop process, right? So, I want you to give yourself a pause. I know, I know, you did not make it through the loop, but I don't want you to be so harsh on yourself. Sometimes, what you don't know, what you don't know, okay? You just need to be positioned in the right place. You're welcome to look at my、um, questions and example playlist. It actually walk you through and how to dive deep. In your answer, and that's what you need. And if you are my community member, feel free to come back every Tuesday afternoon. I'm happy to review your story right here, and we'll play around with、uh, mock and reverse interview. Even though I'm staring at the camera lens right now, but I will fix your story for you right here for free for my YouTube members. Okay, chin up. And you mentioned applying to Amazon. Don't reapply to. Do not reapply, guys. If you have had failed interviewed, reapplying is not going. Sure, yeah, of course, they're going to reinterview you again because most likely you did well on the phone screen and you probably have a, a very well written resume. 
But does that mean that you're able to ace it the second time, the third time, the sixth time, right? Um, I, I don't know anything about your background, so I can't really say that. But just pause for a second and create better story before you re-interview with Amazon, specifically Amazon. Elena, hello, Elena. How are you? Elena said, I had an interview loop for an advertisement role, but I got a rejection phone call. They told me the areas I could do better in and I can reapply anytime. Can I use the same story? Well, that's a very good question, Elena. If you have had a failed interview before, uh, you can use the same story, but rather than repeating yourself using the same routine and same style, I will not do that. I will look at the same examples and see how you could provide more depth into it. Put, put your hands up if you don't know what I mean by depth, if you want me to elaborate a little bit more, okay? The odds are is that you have the breath, okay? That's why when they say go come back again, I don't know why Amazon do that. Just stop telling people to reapply when they fail. Stop, stop it. That's poor. That's really poor. Any employer, don't do that. Because when someone doesn't make it through the first time, they're not going to make it through the second time with the same role, right? It's daunting to me. I'm going to have a second YouTube channel focusing on recruiters. Yes, I'm going to teach all the recruiters how to recruit and build great candidate experiences like all of you guys. Uh, job seekers who are in the job market in helping you best prepare for your upcoming FANG interview. Okay, second YouTube channel coming up. All righty. Carly, hello, Carly. Carly says, I have a really good example answer, but from 10 to 15 years ago, can I still use those? Well, Carly and everyone else, if your example is... 10 years or older, I would not use that. Because based on what your example is, if I'm the interviewer, you're telling me something that is so out of date, I can pretty much tell I'm one of those who will always have your LinkedIn profile up when I'm interviewing you, or your resume, it's on my my laptop monitor, because I like to know exactly what I'm getting into. I, I'm not going to nitpick on your background. But you can kind of tell if I'm looking for ABC, uh, role and you're giving me an example that seems like the technology is not even the same from 10, 15 years ago, that's probably not a good idea. Um, please, guys, if you can give me very, very specific example, what exactly are you interviewing for? Okay. Uh, I'm being very vague right now because I'm pretty much the cow jumps over the bridge. Be very, very specific with your answer. Uh, what role you're interviewing for, if you know the team or anything like that, that would be awesome. Vandana, hey Vandana, if if you have an interview with Microsoft or any employer and the recruiter goes to you or unable to give you feedback, you always want to follow up with the recruiter and the hiring manager, okay? It's very easy to figure out who the hiring manager is. Take their first name, the position title, and also what city the hiring manager is at Amazon and it will pop up on LinkedIn. Most likely the hiring manager is connected with the recruiter, right? Hopefully by now you are connected with your recruiter. If you look on the right hand side on your LinkedIn, you can see the connections. For those of you who's interested in me teaching you how to network and job search, please say yes, job search in the live chat. And I'm happy to run a one full hour webinar where I'm walking you through free, by the way, absolutely free webinar in teaching you how to do so. Okay, follow up with them, because this is very, very common. Okay. Um, Vandana, you're you're also very familiar, you have been supporting my channel for a while. A lot of you guys make sure that when you create your story, you are also very concise in the way you deliver. I have a 60 second or less rule. Go check out my um, my interview speaker from last week, okay? It is the AWS um, leaders and we're on the same page because people are really busy. Amazon, Microsoft, Google, it doesn't matter. No one has time to listen to, to anything you have to say for five minutes, even three minutes, okay? It takes a long time to, be, uh, to keep your interviewer entertained in one full minute, a lot. You're talking about 10 sentences there. Okay, imagine talking for 10 sentences. That's just one minute, by the way. If you multiply that by five, 
there are a lot of ex Amazonian or even bar racer who teaches their interview program of four minutes. That's a long time. Of course, yeah, sure. Of course, you can get a job if you can convey your answer in four minutes, but you better be able to keep them entertained for a full four minutes. Let me know if that makes sense. I talk about this template right here a second ago, this, that is less than one minute. Look at all those words on there, right? That's a lot of word. So if you're trying to create five times more word than that, there's a very high chance you will be putting the interviewer to sleep. All right. Okay, Garrett, 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 Garrett. How long should star stories be? I just answer that questions, my friend. My coaching is, um, it's, it's anywhere at the hap the happy spot. It's about 45 second to one minute. I know it sounds, um, like a lot right now, but that's my entire VIP coaching cohort, which is right here. This is what I teach. Okay. I teach you how to write. I teach you how to be condensed and concise with a lot of depth. I focus on a lot of depth and you will be able to articulate once you have all those information. I'm telling you guys, without your story, it is very hard for you to land a job at Amazon. Okay. And Vishal says, how much prep time is reasonable to schedule the phone interview for an L6 functional interview? Generally, when from the moment you start the interview process, first of all, I, I guess I'm having a hard time understanding why so many professionals wait until they have the loop interviewed and then they start creating their story. I'm going to pause for a second there. It makes no sense to me. That's already too late, Right. It's going to take you weeks to create your story and to remember, not memorize word by word, but remember everything that you've done. Yeah. You don't want to cheat. Okay. Again, look at the last live stream from last week. Victoria, love, love, love Victoria. It's a mom of three kids, three kids. Okay. This girl's got every single certification one can imagine for solution architect. And she is self-taught. She also says so, says so herself that she's been at Amazon for a week and a half uh, already. She's one of my, uh, was one of my, my member as well. And she said, Holly, there are times where you can tell that people are cheating because they'll be like this, looking at a second monitor, try to Google the answer. And you can tell that the answer they're giving me, it's not authentic. It's not even real. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Okay. So I encourage you all to watch um, why Amazon and the Amazon culture. It is not an environment where you can BS your way through. They can catch you in a lie so quickly because Amazon does what? Amazon is the only company that dives really deep. When they hear things that's out of the ordinary, they know you're getting it from somewhere else. It's very obvious. And that's what they do. That's what they have been trained on. Okay. So make sure you have all of your story when you start the process for sure. Okay. Phone screen or not. Do not go and apply to job when you're not ready. You just want an interview and then take your sweet time. No, 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 no. If they really like you, you want to get an offer within a few weeks. Hi, Janet. Janet says, I just completed the BIE phone interview with Amazon yesterday for both L5 and L6 BIE role. However, the hiring manager who interviewed me is from L5. How do I make sure the hiring manager will be fairly evaluated for both roles? Excellent question. Excellent, excellent. Well, that is because when you guys are interviewing for one level, you're always going to be considered for a level higher. That's a good thing for Amazon, right? But I bet you anything, um, the BR or your peer interview, somebody is an L6. That's why. That's why the debrief is very important on Amazon. When everyone evaluate the feedback, they know where the bar is. To provide more information on the debrief process at Amazon. If you're interested in me doing so, please say debrief video. And I will make one up. I will make one up. What am I saying? I'm not going to make one up for you. I will make a pre-recorded video to educate you more on the debrief process. Okay. All righty. Two days. Good luck to your interview in two days, Carol. Your, 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 your roles. 
Jerose? Okay. Jerose. How are you, Jerose? Jerose says... By the way, member mode is on. And if you are part of my member, if you want to be part of my member, make sure you smash the join button in the live chat. Okay. Uh, Jerosa says, is it okay to ask a recruiter about scheduling the interview a month uh, from when they reach out? How can I do that? Simply just say, um, I am very interested. Thank you so much for this opportunity to interview with Amazon. I would like to take some time to prepare for my interview. Let's just start the process. Give them a date and time. This is very common, by the way. Jeros, Jeros, yes, Jeros. I tell a hundred percent of every single one of my VIP member to do this. Every single one. If you're gonna reach out to me, you know, sometime I think they just want me to repeat myself multiple time. Push the interview out because if you don't push the interview out and you know, I don't know if you're ready, but you know that you're not ready, you won't make it through. Okay, you won't. If you've been prepping for quite a while now and just looking at some of the content, there's a lot of free content on YouTube and go directly to the Amazon career site and you will learn all of the 16 LP. You could absolutely get a job even within the weekend. But they are for folks who have experience working for a faster paced environment with a tech company and having a lot of exposure in, for example, if you're interviewing at AWS, the cloud infrastructure background, okay? So if you're someone who doesn't have the exposure in those technical environment, it's going to take you a little bit longer, especially the communication style is completely different, okay? I'm only saying that because for me, I work with a lot of folks in healthcare industry, in insurance, like um, Haren, who, who did a veto endorsement for me, who's a L6 TPM at Meta Facebook. He's from Geico Insurance. I have um, Alicia, who's from a startup company, who's now a program manager, AWS. I have Irfan, who's an L6 PMT, product manager technical, very close to the TPM role. He's from Deloitte. Okay, and I have I can go on and on and on from AT and T, T Mobile, you name it. Um, they are at those fan companies, but it takes them about a longer time. It takes them at least three weeks to have the perfect stories. It it's a, it is a progress. Okay, so don't rush it through. Hi, Asia, how are you? D Dashin Dashin says, oh yeah, <laughs> yes, it's me. Oh, it is you. Thank you for coming by. Um, would definitely recommend all those helpful to watch your video. It helped me pass the behavioral questions in loops pretty easily and first time. Congratulations! <laughs> Everybody, congratulate our friend Deshin, our community member from landing a job offer with AWS. Thank you for coming by. If you got any tips on best practices or even your favorite video or playlist from my content and help those who are not able to afford a coach, please do share your best practices in here, okay? All right, Asia, Asia, Asia says, how do you know which role to apply for? Amazon has a lot of roles available, all called the same thing that require the same skill set. Well, that's a good question. Um, sometimes Amazon's job description could be very vague because Amazon does a lot of confidential stuff. Either it could be a tool that they're working on. It doesn't have to be a physical product like the Alexa devices. Okay. Um, you don't really know, don't read too much into the job description, but versus ask yourself what product. The first thing I would ask myself is what product line are you interested in? Right? Because Amazon has got AWS, which is cloud infrastructure, consumer electronic, which is the um, all of the uh, Echo family of devices, the Kindle, all of that stuff, and also the e-commerce consumer space, the dot-com space, right? So which one of those are your favorite? Once you have what you want, I actually did a video. It is called the Amazon, uh, what is it? It's called the Amazon hiring process, where I walk you through the career page, exactly where to pick and how to pick. Okay, go check out that video. It's called the Amazon hiring process. It is a six to six, yeah, six to seven minute video. Okay, so you have to take your time and evaluate what is a fit first. Where's your interest? I wouldn't just apply to apply on so many different jobs. Okay, I would look at three different positions, maybe within the same org, 
um, or maybe like two to three different orgs. Um, I don't know anything about your background, Asia. Okay. If you, for example, if you don't have, have any consumer electronic background and you're applying for, um, like Kindle, for example, they may be likelihood not that interested in you if your background is in retail as an example, but consumer would love you. Okay. So that is another reason why a lot of folks get rejected off the bat because they don't really spend the time in doing the homework and see what is the right fit. Again, Amazon doesn't care if you have all of the experiences in the tea. They do care because when we look at someone's credential, LinkedIn or resume, by the way, if you all are interested, I have a discount rate right here is my branding. Uh, it is a digital course only in tearing my own personal resume apart step by step, teaching you how to hit those keywords to land the right interviewed. And the LinkedIn accelerator is also part of this for free inside this for my YouTube community member. Okay. I hope that answers your question, Asia. Hungry for employment. Aww. My friend, you were literally the first person to show up when I live stream. When I started live streaming at the uh, end of 2019, you were my first member. All right. <laughs> like they say, you never forget your first customer. In this case, my first member. Thank you so much. How is the new gig coming along, Hungry? Oh, Dushin. Dusin says, Hi, Holly. I'm not sure if this question is off topic, but do internal transfer to other countries and roles happen more easily once you're in AWS? Well, what do you mean in AWS? Are you talking about Amazon as a whole? Okay. It's not that hard to transfer international. The rule is if you want to relocate internationally or even within the same uh, uh, country, you have to be at Amazon for at least one full year. Okay. Unless that has changed, I highly doubt it. The company, the company, what am I saying? The employer will invest in you after the first, um, the first year review cycle to make sure that they see you also as a potential fit uh, for a different role. Okay. And when it comes to transferring international, you have to be, I believe, level five plus level four is not eligible unless that has changed. All righty. Susie, hello, hello, Susie. Let me. Okay. All righty. Susie says, I'm new, excited to soak in everything. I'm here to answer all of your questions, Susie. Garrett, besides the star story, what other questions should I prepare for, such as why Amazon and tell me about yourself? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, Garrett, I mentioned a second ago to look at my number one playlist, which is the Amazon questions and answer. If you look at that playlist, it will tell you and guide you exactly what to do. Okay. The why Amazon, tell me about yourself. Keep it to a couple sentences. You don't need to talk for a minute or five minutes. No. Okay. Simply just tell the employer why they should hire you. Do share a little bit about your background and you can do all of that in just about two to three sentences. It doesn't need to be very long. But every time when you are having conversation with any employer, not just AWS, you have to share what is your business impact. When you've got no ROI, the employer is very, I don't want to say confused. It sounds very general. Okay. 100% of my time, even folks from Apple. I mean, I'm getting a lot of Apple and a lot of Microsoft lately. Um, even a, a couple of Google employee employee as well, where, you know, I, yeah, I want to work for Amazon because they're moving so fast and I just want an opportunity to innovate faster. That's nice. But everyone says that. So try to think of a different way where it makes you stand out with what you're bringing on the table. What is your added value? Think about that. All right. Thank you for the coffee, Allison. SG, I guess I'm feeling used to being <laughs> here, your live coaching. Thank you again. SG, thank you so much. Um, it, it put a smile on my face as I'm getting ready in the backstage for live streaming. And I see a lot of my member who's been with me for a while. 
And even after they land a job at Amazon, they still come back to support the community. That highly motivates me and the entire community. So thank you, SG. Chicago in the house. Welcome, Susie. Oh, congratulations. Her on your on your role with Amazon as an L6 in operation. Thank you so much for coming by and sharing your great news with us. David, how are you? Thank you for becoming a member, David. Sylvia, hello, girl. How are you? Did I mention that I love old folks coming back to say hello to us? Oh, I miss you. Come in and say hi. Loving Meta. Glad I joined your VIP uh, when looking for tech job. Oh, thank you so much, girl. Thank you so much. Um, I know that you are part of my Facebook private community. If you're not, please remind me. Um, <laughs> I've been slacking off a little bit. So I do have a private group, by the way, for all of those, my member who landed a job offer with any of the uh, company. Um, I used to provide a free biweekly coaching in a Facebook video, Facebook meeting. Okay. I haven't been doing that because my son and I is going through a lot of changes in our home. As you can see, my background is always changing. Uh, that's because I'm painting the entire condo. Okay. So that will be coming back. And I really, really miss connecting with old folks, especially old VIP member. I'm so glad Facebook is treating you well. Thank you for coming by. Hello, Carly. No problem. I'm, I'm here to help you. Okay. The more detail you're giving me, the, um, the more feedback I can help you because I don't want to just talk and be very uh, generic to you. The role is a business development L5 non-tech. I have really good example answer, but they're 10 to 15 years ago. Can I still use those answers? No, I will not use those answers because they're really old. Do me a favor, Carly, and forgive me if you have already reached out to me via LinkedIn. I have a virtual as assistant team that goes through my messages. If things are important, such as, can you please take a look at my LinkedIn profile? That will be all me. So if you wanted to reach out to me, uh, here's my LinkedIn. I'm the only Holly Lee on LinkedIn who's a career coach. It's like a John Doe. I'm happy to take a look at your background um, and see what you have done in the most recent five to 10 years. Okay. David, stop by to say hi. Ah, oh, you accepted an offer at a C funding startup as a senior tech recruiter with your help. Yes, David, I remember you. You know what? A job offer is a job offer. I am picky with my member. Hang on. Let me turn this up a little bit. I'm happy for you. Yes, I know exactly the hot startup that you are joining. I'm very happy for you. And I'll look forward into following you on LinkedIn and all the great things that you will be doing for them. Okay. There's a lot of you guys who's watching in the background right now. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button button and give me a thumbs up in this video because it does help the engagement YouTube love that stuff as I'm streaming to attract more people who are looking for free content okay all righty let's pick on someone new shall we Victoria just become a member hello visual visual says Grokov, Grokov. Hello, Grokov. I will be with you in a second. Thank you so much for the super chat. Vishal says, I clear my phone screen and the recruiter today within an hour received an email to schedule uh, two to three LP base. How much should I schedule my phone interview? What do you mean? How much should I? You mean how long the time frame? Well, that's a personal preference because we've never worked with each other. I don't know how prepared you are. So that question is up to you until you have at least 20 questions, 20 questions, what am I saying? Until you have at least 20 different story, you need to create those stories. Okay. If you don't have anything at all, I, if, you, if you're starting from scratch, you're not going to take that phone screen until close to about a month out. I know that some of my, my career coach friend thinks I'm crazy for making that statement, but listen, professional, go check out my playlist where I interviewed, again, hiring manager and bar racer. They are all telling me the same thing. And we're talking about director level BR, okay? L7 guests, they're saying the same thing. 
Amazon is not a job where you spend the weekend and boom, you're interview prep. No, it's not that company. Okay. That is why, you know, earlier on, um, when the live stream started, if you guys are hearing, there's a couple of folks who come in here and say, Holly, what happened? You know, my interview is in a couple of days, this Friday specifically, I can't purchase your digital course. That is because I'm not in a rush of selling my digital course, because I know that if you're prepared, you're going to get a job. Hey, I'm with you. I'm your cheerleader, right? I'm not here trying to sell you the course, but if you need my help, it's going to take you longer. And for all of you whose interview is coming in a couple of days, I don't know how much my course is going to help you because it's going to take you at the bare minimum, bare minimum one full week if you're spending a couple hours a day in carving out your story and following instruction in my digital course. Does that make sense? Let me know if that makes sense. Give me a thumbs up emoji, okay? All right. All righty. Job search and networking. Awesome, Allison. There is a collaboration interview that I've done with String. Um, String and I used to partner. Uh, she was my marketing partner for Holly Lee and Associates or hollylee.co. And she's also LinkedIn top voice. Go check out that video. It's called Job Search LinkedIn before anything because the content there, it is raw, Okay. Um, she's also a brand ambassador for companies such as Lenovo and a lot of other brands as well. Um, she's really, uh, her engagement is very high on LinkedIn. So if I'm going to have guest speaker on my channel, it's gotta be folks who have a very, very strong background where I know that all of you guys would need in answering all of your questions as well. Okay. But if you are interested in a topic that I haven't, uh, mention yet or guest speaker. Let's talk about guest speaker for uh, example. By the way, next week I will be on vacation for the very first time. I'm canceling my next Tuesday's live stream for the first time. The first time outside of being sick, by the way, for the first time, because I really need to just calm down and tone down a little bit to evaluate um, just hollylee.co where I'm taking my business and my YouTube channel for you guys. So I need to take a full week off to think about my, my members and how I can better serve you for the remainder of 2022. So the week after that, which is the 26th of April, I have a senior leader who focusing on AWS veteran hiring for all of AWS. And we're going to talk about what is the difference between veteran hiring and non-veteran in industry as well. So just because you're not a veteran, you do need to show up. Okay, so let me know who or what type of guest speaker you would like me to bring on my YouTube channel, and I'm happy to reach out to them directly. So that's what I've been trying to do. My goal here is to provide at least one, if not two, um, leadership, uh, uh, leadership or high quality content from Amazon for you guys. In the past, I've had senior product leader from Google. I've had like executive leaders from Meta Facebook, but it seems like a lot of you guys only want to hear Amazon. That's why you're seeing a lot of Amazon heavy content. Why fight it? Just join them. <laughs> Just join them. Job search. Okay, great. Asia says job search. Job search. Uh, Meyer says job search and networking. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Peach, just say hello. I joined a community last week and the first time I'm attending a live session. Well, thank you so much for being here. Googling the answer. <laughs> Sylvia, you're so funny. It's not just to get in, it's to get in and perform to build your reputation. Excellent. Yes, girl. Debrief video. Okay, Aisha. Um, I am going to be putting out in the upcoming week of a video on the debrief process. I have a whole playlist that is the Amazon, uh, um, Amazon interview strategies and process. Okay. It will be housed in there for it, for everyone. I know that it will keep you very busy. Let me know after, not before. Let me know what piece of the content you're missing from my channel. And I'm happy to create one for you. All right communicate with me and let me know how I can deliver more free content to you. Oh, hi, Parker. My son is... Help me build our house. I will help you build that. You want to say hello? Hi. Okay. Can you give me five minutes? I will help you build the house. Can I keep you company for... Um, uh-oh. The party is going down very... Um, Parker, where are you? 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> this kid. All right. Debrief. All right. The debrief playlist will be coming out. Okay. All right. I love this Victoria. I'm happy to review your story. Okay. Victoria says, Thank you for doing it. I would really appreciate if you could give me feedback on a story. Describe a time when you had to solve a problem that you initially had no clue what to do. Excellent. Are you ready? Let's get this party going. I was hired to launch a series of education products on fast growing technology for high school and universities and was giving materials to work with that were too complex to work with. Yeah. Um, it is a little vague in your situation when you say materials to work with, but too complex to work with. It's almost being redundant. So I would probably just switch that to, um, to you know, ask what? What is your role for what company? What does your company do? Um, my my goal is to build a series of educational products for fast growing universities. Um, for whom? Like what? Give me an example of what type of uh, university and I'll just cut right there. Okay. Save the rest for what problem you're trying to solve. I had to do translate complex technical knowledge into beginner friendly language that a person without a tech background could understand. Perfect. That's beautiful. So I'm going to cut off that part in the very beginning about the material. No, that's too much info. Jump right there. I took multiple online courses, met up with 20 plus engineer, sat closely with them and asked them to explain the concept and work back and forth with my supervisor to simplify the concept. That's pretty good. The result, I was able to launch the first ever local language product and help adopt it across 10 tech universities around the world, over 100,000 students. First of all, Victoria, your ROI is beautiful, girl. Beautiful. So let's fix your whole story, okay? ROI is beautiful. So let's work backward here. Um, I will simply, this is what I would do. This is exactly how I would coach you in the VIP coaching, which is, um, first of all, I don't know what your role is. I don't know, um, is your company a training, a digital training company, or are you working for the university? So who are you working for? Okay, I would also throw in a couple uh, university on there just to get the reader or the interviewer excited. If not, it sounds a little bit vague. Okay, um, as a, a uh, as a I'm totally making up as a content developer. I don't know what your position title is. My goal was to launch a series of educate educational products for fast growing technologies, um, targeting high school and universities, such as boom, boom, boom. My challenge is, is having to translate complex technical knowledge, such as what? What are we talking about? Are we talking about infrastructure, coding? What is it to get them spike up? Okay. So this is a very good example that could potentially hit the LP about 80, 100%. Okay. So do that. Uh, translate them into beginner friendly language that everyone without the knowledge would understand, period. The first thing I've done is to dive deep and research on the type of technical material, um, such as what? So give me a little bit more. Um, I then met up with 20 plus engineers with a background of what? What are these engineers? Engineer is a very vague terminology. It could be software, hardware, platform, infrastructure, what kind of engineers, right? I sat closely with them to explain the concept. What kind of concept are we, are we talking about? Um, proof of concept. What are we talking about? So give me a little bit more. Uh, it, uh, just visualize what is in the material in the course. So share more about that. I love that you're being very concise, but you only give you one sentence. So give me two or even three sentences in this part. Walk me through the first thing. You die deep. Later, okay, please. Please. Later. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> No excuses. You see what I'm doing here, everybody? So I would dive deeper in how do you know where to where, where are you finding these engineers? Are they already in corporate or are they trainers? Where are you finding them from? After you have the engin engineers, what exactly are you working with? What are the technical material that you wanted to build? Now that they're sharing all those knowledge, how are you supposed to build that around where everyone from a background from high school to university are going to understand the technical depth and breadth of what? 
right? So you need to use the keyword. So the I as a user, I'm not tech. I'm well, I'm kind of tech. I have a computer science degree, but I need to understand what is in your course before I buy the course. Okay. Very, very strong ROI, by the way. Excellent job. Okay, guys, I got to wrap up very, very quickly. I'm going to look in my second screen just to make sure that I highlight a lot of my member. Um, Sylvia, you have not joined my, um, my private Facebook group. Girl, what are you waiting on? Grackub, you have landed an L6 position at Amazon. Congratulations. Wishing you the very, very best of luck. Okay. And uh, one <laughs> gladiator. Welcome gladiator as a career member. How are you? You I'm laughing because my child is pulling me in the back. So I have to get going quickly. Um, I want it. I'm very obsessed. I know I should cut it off. But I wanted to make sure, especially if you are a pay YouTube member, I'm doing my best guys to answer all of your questions. Let me go with DBN just become a member. Hello, DBN. And <laughs> thank you so much for the super chat. Okay, this is the last questions. Okay. Uh, let's go with DBN to wrap it up. DBN says, Mama is talking to Mama's friend. Mama, be right with you. But I don't hear your friend. You don't hear my friend because my friend is very quiet. Shh. Shh. Can you give Mama one minute? I promise I'll do anything you want. I'll take you to see Nemo. Um, We're going to Nemo next week. Okay, Nemo Parker? Play with me. I will play with you. I'll do anything you want. Anything. Literally anything he wants. Okay. Stephen says, as a software engineer with eight years of experience, mostly small tech company, wants to join Amazon, should I look for to apply for SD1? I'm going to stop right there. If you have eight years of experience, the first question I'm going to ask you is within those eight years of experience, what have you built? Were you a software engineer throughout those eight years of experiences? When you built the products or services or tools, how many users did you build it for? If the if you can give me some of those example, you may not be L4, you can be L5. Okay, so it really depends. There's a lot of folks who have eight years experience from um, from startup and they're L6s. Okay, don't under don't short sell yourself without your background. I don't really know. If you if you want to Debian, thank you, by the way, for being part of my member, reach out to me via LinkedIn, I'm happy to just glance at your LinkedIn profile really quick. And I can tell you right off the bat, what level you would be considered for. Okay. <laughs> I love this. Uh, Garrett, Garrett says vacation time. Yes, 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 yes. It's vacation, but not really. I just wanted to take a moment to focus on everything that I'm doing for you guys. So as a reminder, next Tuesday, there will be no live stream but I will do the best that I can to put a video out, okay? Last week, um, I have a fabulous time, but unfortunately, we have some technical difficulty when I was interviewing a couple AWS hiring team. So that video is uh, on the hand of my amazing video editor. It will be revised um, in making it perfect for you all and, and hopefully knock on wood. That video will come out um, by this Friday, all right? Thank you so much for your time. And for your patient in me answering all of your questions, if there's anything that you need from my channel that I have not already included for you, please do leave it in the comment section of this video and I will do so. Be well and take care. I will see you in two weeks.